is. The Queen affirmed the union yesterday. Wrong patch. Wrong, 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 wrong. The Queen, 21 years ago, 22 years ago, graciously granted parliamentary sovereignty to the Scottish people. The Queen would need to approve independence. Now, she's not going to do that if there's any whiff of republicanism. So these people just need to go away quietly and fade away. Any of your anti-monarchists are anti-Scots, anti-independence, anti-everything. Now, it's happened before. These people don't realise it because they know nothing of history. And if you even look at the history of the Scottish nationalist movement, you'll see that they've done very well in fits and starts and then lost it because of anti-monarchism being perceived as anti-monarchist, all that stuff. So it will never do because you're immediately isolating 50% of the vote who are royalists and monarchists. So the Queen did not affirm the union. She affirmed that she is the head of state in Scotland. And that does never, ever, ever change because uh, her heirs and successors will take over in perpetuity when she's finished with